Hi, and welcome to Crafty Ladybugs. Today's tutorial is going to be on the balance beam. For today's tutorial, we're going to be needing a few extra supplies. For large paper clips, you need large, small will not work. Some scotch tape, one piece of 16 gauge wire. We're going to be cutting this at the end of our project to fit. A set of wire cutters or needle nose pliers will work the best. Around 100 to 150 black bands or bands for your legs. Today I will be using blue. And about 150 bands, your choice of color, for the beam. This project will require a little bit of patience, so please bear with me as we work through this project. The first thing that we're going to need to do is to form our legs. We're going to be transforming paper clips to resemble something like this, which is going to actually be the brace for our legs that we're going to weave this in after we've completed the looming. You want to take a single paper clip, extend out the long arm till it forms a straight line or a semi-straight line. Turn your paper clip around and with your pliers Grab the end portion, the pointy area, right there. The outside band, or outside area, where it meets the end of the inside piece. You want to take your pliers and you want to bend upwards. So you want to form kind of like an odd looking T shape with it. Set that aside and grab another, another paper clip. You want to extend out the long arm again, that's the outside piece. You want to grab the area where it meets the other inside, and this time we want to go down. Please remember to go down with this piece. This will line up our paper clips so they fit securely together. Now to secure them, we're going to take our tape, just take your two pieces, and you're going to need some scotch tape. And we're going to be taking and taping the pieces together. You want to tape it together at the bottom and just run your tape around it to secure those two together. Turn it over and you want to be sure to get this other side. So just take your tape and turn around. If I'm going too fast for you, please remember to hit pause. There's a pause button and you can rewatch this portion of the video. So I have the bottom pieces taped together and now I need to worry about taping together these pieces up here. Take another piece of tape and just begin to tape your pieces together. You can start at the top or you can start at the bottom. I prefer to start at the bottom and you just want to take your tape and twirl it around so that those two pieces get taped together. If you haven't used enough tape, grab another piece and just continue until both of these taller pieces of wire of your paper clip are secured together. And that is going to complete a brace for our leg. You will want to do this again for the other leg. So you'll need to make two of these. I would simply replay the video after I'm complete one leg to do the other leg. Now we're going to begin with looming the leg portion. You will need your loom set in an offset, I'm sorry, in a straight configuration with all the pegs being lined up. I do my tutorials with the arrow pointing towards my body. I want to begin by looming or by laying a single band double twisted on itself and placed on the right side. I need to come down six times 
with that single band, double twisted, and down your right side. Single band, double twist, and coming down the right side. If I go too fast, please just hit pause to catch up. Need to make sure I've come down six times. One, two, three, four, five. And this will be my number six. Now we need to take a single band, double twist, and we're going to go from the right peg to the center peg. A single band, double twist, from the center peg to the left peg. Next, we want to do our left portion of the loom, which is going to be the main, main part of the beam. And we are going to be using triple bands. Three bands laying straight down the loom as you would a single style of bracelet. This is with three bands. This is going to give our leg more stability. I'm fumbling with my bands and I'm so sorry. You can fast forward or pause through this portion if you need to. Whichever speed you work best at is what you need to do. And I'm just coming straight down the loom with our triple bands. And making a mess while I do it. So just come down, we're almost finished. Three bands. And the bottom three. In order to secure our loom at the bottom, we're going to be taking two bands and wrapping it around, capping it off three times. I need to pick my loom up here, but I'm taking one, two, and three. That was two bands wrapped three times around the last peg. And you guessed it, it's time to start looming. We're gonna start at the bottom, and we're gonna loom all the way straight up to the top. So you can fast forward or pause at your speed whichever is more convenient for you. So we're just going to loom straight forward and you want to take those triple bands. Remember that there are three bands there and you just want to continue all the way up to the top of the loom. Be careful when you get to the cross band that you do not grab the bottom cross band. You want the top three and loom them straight forward. We're going to come back and get that cross band in just a minute. So we're just going to loom straight forward. And as you can see, my bands keep popping off, and that's okay. We're about to pull them off anyway, but you want to make sure that you hold on to them just so they don't come accidentally all the way off. Okay. Now we're done that side. And then we're going to come back and do the cross band. These are going to be a little tight because remember they're double twisted bands. So we're going to come to the right and then we're going to reach in and come to the right again. And then we're going to loom straight on up. So very simple looming for this project, but piecing it together is going to be a little difficult. And when we get to the beam portion, we actually have to do a transfer two times. So we're going to have to load our looms up actually three times and make two transfers. So here I have my shorter portion of the beam, which I think they call that a support um, brace, and then the long leg that we're going to form. In order to pull this project off the loom, you want to secure it by a toothpick or you can use um, a wooden skewer to secure it. 
I'm not sure where my toothpicks have gotten to, so I'm just breaking a skewer apart. And you want to place a toothpick or a skewer in each one of those legs. And this looks a little crazy. And then we just want to gently pull both of those off the loom. And if you kind of assist the sides that are the double twist bands, it won't make them as um, disformed a looking when you just yank it off the loom. Messy busy project today. But here are our legs to our balance beam. This is going to be the side brace, and then this is our leg portion. What we need to do next is to take our paper clip creation and run it through that support beam at the bottom. And you just kind of want to weave it right through. Oh, guys, getting on my nerves there. You want to just weave it through being careful not to break your rubber bands. So just kind of grab one, weave in and out. And just keep weaving in and out. So here we go, I've got everything in there. And now I'm just gonna pull it down onto that metal paper clip. It looks a little wonky there. Depending upon how picky you are, you can you know, weave it in perfectly straight. Um, if I had more time, mine would be truly straighter looking. But for the purposes of the video, it's just gonna look a little wonky for right now. Then in order to finish off the end pieces, you wanna take two bands and two at a time just wrap them around that metal paper clip the metal paper clip so two bands at a time and just cover up that metal paper clip and you can put as many on there as you like whichever you feel comfortable with two bands at a time just continue to wrap it around that paper clip and straighten things out a little bit. Let's finish off the other side. Two bands and just wrap it around. You're basically just looping around the paper clip. And you'll see that some slid off on this other side. That's okay. Just take and wrap them around again. No real rhyme or reason. Just keep wrapping until they get covered up. And then we're going to set this aside and we're going to use this in just a moment or two to attach to our beams. Don't forget you're going to have to play this video again to make the second leg.